Hey guys, today's video is part of the Unique Antique Challenge hosted by myself and co-hosted by Reinvented by Maria. Today's video is all about creating a dining room piece on a budget. I picked up this china hutch on the side of the road. Look how cute it is. It was really small. It was solid maple, but you guys, this thing was so dirty. I had to scrub the heck out of it. It was just filthy. I also did my other prep work. I scuff sanded. I sanded the top and the drawers down to bare wood because I had planned on either staining or paint washing those. The challenge for this piece is just basically using what you have on hand for your project. I'm using some chalk paint by Rust-Oleum in a white and I am mixing it up with just some latex paint in a flat finish and this is actually a mist tint color so I do not have a specific name for you but I picked it up on the mist tint aisle and it's it's like a very pale brown color. I'm just brushing my paint mixture on with a Valspar paintbrush that I had on hand. I actually picked this up on clearance at Lowe's for like around two dollars each which is an amazing deal even if they're not on clearance they're still pretty good priced they're really good paint brushes they are a really great bang for your buck this hutch was in really great condition minus the doors I was having difficulty with opening them. They were really hard to open. So I had to do some troubleshooting with all of that, which I did not get any video footage of. I went and purchased new latches for the doors themselves, but come to find out that that was actually not the issue that was causing them to be difficult when closing and opening. The door itself was actually off centered or something, but I had to shave it down. I wanted to keep the wood pretty natural looking. So I opted for a paint wash on them. I'm using a mister bottle and I'm spraying the surface before I add my paint. I'm adding the same exact mixture that I used on the entire hutch. I'm painting it on and then I'm just kind of spreading it out. I'm barely using any paint and I'm going to make sure my brush strokes are straight and even as possible. If you feel like your paint wash is a little bit too thick, you can add a little bit more water with your spray bottle or you can wipe everything down with a paper towel or rag or something like that to remove some of your paint wash. To shave down my doors, I purchased a wood planer on Amazon, and I will link that below as well as the new latches that I had purchased. I actually did a post on my community tab with a voting selection on which type of knobs my viewers wanted to see on this piece. And, um, you guys chose the gold knobs. These were all things that I had on hand that I purchased before for a different dresser. So I did not have to include that in my cost of redoing this piece. For the challenge directions, I also did the same paint wash with the same color on the drawers, the top and the bottom drawers. So same thing, I wetted everything down with my water in my mister bottle and I brushed it on and as evenly as possible. The final step was waxing and I used a Minowax finishing paste and a rag and I just buffed everything on. Uh, my grand total for this project was around $20. My piece was free and I had most of my products on hand. The only thing I had to purchase was the new latches and the wood planer. 
to get the doors to close easier. And that was it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this flip. And please remember to check out Maria's channel as well as the playlist. And everything will be linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.